Growth and change are actually one proof we're not living in the matrix. Fuel Me once here, driving instructor of life. Opposites attract, but they also create growth. There's only two ways for something to grow. You feed it, which uh, everything's got to eat, or through resistance and growth. Fuel, explain that last part to me, will you? Okay, here goes. In life, if growth and change aren't happening, things stagnate and die. In his book, Anti-Fragile, Nassim Nicholas Taleb identifies three states that apply to all things. The first is fragile. When an outside force is applied to something fragile, it breaks, crashes. Second is static or stable. If an outside force applies to it, nothing happens, no change. This would be the state of a matrix system or simulation. There's no self-governing AI that's that robust or that existential that could take care of it. We're not talking we're in the Truman Show here. His third category is called anti-fragile. Only living things grow, and that growth occurs through being subject to resistance and change. Taleb uses examples of economies, which are living systems, and also muscle building. To build muscle, you need the resistance of the weights to increase the muscle mass. Over time, you're going to have to increase the amount of weights you're using to get the same results, growth and change. This is the beautiful truth that resistance leads to growth. Living, growing systems need variety, variation, difference, difficulties, challenge in order to create newness. Of course, to become better, a lot of times these stresses aren't enjoyable, but they are necessary. Ralph Waldo Emerson taught, that which we persist in doing becomes easier for us to do. Not that the nature of the thing itself has changed, but our power to do has increased. So what's the takeaway? We need to have more faith in the universe and in our ability to achieve. Did you know that the root for the word faith is the same root for the word fealty, which means loyalty, being loyal? We can look at faith then as the loyalty to the beliefs that we hold deep in our core. How do we know if these beliefs are right? Are they working for us? If they're not working, we need to change what we're doing, change the path we're on so we can actually grow. The word perfection, by the way, which also means complete or whole, also has a meaning of loyalty. So you wanna have perfect faith? Be loyal to your core truths and be goal-oriented. That's the way to succeed. When you respond well to resistance, you grow. Everything in your life becomes better over time. Even your intuition gets better. 